The students here are from all over the world. You know, the number one priority is probably keeping those concert crayons in tip-top shape. It's really embarrassing for, say, the family to come from China to hear their uh, son or daughter do their final degree recital and have the piano sound bad. I'm Marvin Russ from Rochester, New York. Been here 25 years at the Eastman School of Music. Eastman has always stood for excellence. George Eastman uh, wanted to found a school that would supply an environment for young performers who also engaged in academic pursuits. Well, we have so many pianos on our campus and all of them have to be kept in great shape. We have a lot of pianists, we have a lot of instrumentalists who need to have piano as part of their education, so we absolutely need to have one or more of the technicians who uh, take a look at all the instruments as they uh, need to be tuned, repaired. We believe uh, Hall Light Kilburn has close to a thousand events, recitals, and other events in a year or maybe the school as a whole. There's various degree recitals, guest artist recitals, faculty recitals, and they want the pianos to sound good. The pianos here get used nonstop, um, so they really, they really take a beating. Um, and if your pianos are falling apart or the keyboard is uneven, so one note is louder than the one next to it, it's really, really hard to practice well. You can learn notes on it, but any sort of artistry is just so hard to practice. A lot of these practice rooms and studios, those pianos are getting played 10, 12 hours a day. The pianos in the studios like this, and the collegiate studios, of course, you've got heavier duty pianists really, really wailing away on, on the instruments. And, uh, you know, it, it just, it's really hard to keep them up. It's, it would be like, you know, having uh, good mechanics taking care of race cars, just like they have to be on it all the time. We have to replace hammers a lot. I estimate in a practice room a hammer's got a life of about five years here before it's pretty much totally worn out. To put on hammers on the WNG shanks because of the consistency, um, it's much easier. The results look better. We've done a lot of installations here. They become pretty much our go-to parts for almost any full rebuilding we do. What I love about Marvin is that he's, he's always listening. He's lis listening for clues in my questions or my comments. He gets the sound out of the instrument. He makes it easy for us to, to do our, our work. One of the big things here at, at Eastman is we're in an old building. There are several old buildings. Things break down and places get too dry and you look at the actions in these pianos and the old wood actions you know all the screws are loose um, you know the hammers will be all twisted and uh, you look at the wng actions where i you know took a few extra hours to get the spacing really good and the spacing still there not only is he a wonderful technician but he's really very artistic in the way that he hears things and i trust him to the nth degree <laughs>